do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation today and in that we are studying topic structure of kidney now each one of us has a pair of kidney now this pair of kidney is very important for the process of removal of waste now how does kidney do that and what are the various constituents of kidney let's study today and find out if we study the structure of kidney what we observe is that it is located between the last thoracic vertebrae and the third lumbar vertebrae approximately 150 grams is the weight of kidney in human beings in adult human beings now kidney is always capped on the anterior side and there is a presence of a pair of adrenal glands at the upper part of both the kidneys now this adrenal glands will release certain adrenal hormones that has direct impact in certain functions of the body also kidney will have its minor constituents or its smallest individual unit which are termed as nephrons in kidney you will observe filtration units like glomerulus adrenal tubes pct dct all of them together constitute kidney structure of kidney now if you observe the structure of kidney in human beings what we see is that it is located between the last thoracic vertebrae now thoracic cavity is the space inside which your lungs are situated and the kidney is situated so the last thoracic vertebrae and the third lumbar vertebrae in the lower regions of human body it is somewhere between kidney is located now kidney is always present in pairs in human beings it's reddish brown bean shaped or kidney bean shaped about 10 to 12 cm in length 5 to 7 cm in width and approximately 150 grams in adult human beings now kidney is always retroperitoneal in nature kidney is always capped or they have the presence of adrenal glands on the anterior or simply you say at the upper side
Now, if you see the medial side or medial surface or the inner surface of the kidney or the inner border, each kidney has a depression or you can say a concave kind of structure which is termed as helium. Now, the helium or helis leads into a space which is termed as renal sinuses. Now, renal sinuses are the places where empty spaces or cavities would be present. The helium function as a route for your entry as well as exit for your blood vessels that enter into kidney to supply blood, your lymph that's removed from the or passed on from the lymphatic tissue, your various nerves which will be carrying impulses or information as well as your ureter. Now the renal artery entering the kidney and the renal vein and the ureters come out from the helis region. If you observe the diagrammatic representation of kidney in adult human being in male and female, there will be slight differences that you may come across. Students, this is a pair of kidney in adult male as well as female. As you can see, kidneys are always in pair in both male and female. It is capped by a adrenal gland which release hormones. Now this hormones released by adrenal glands will be many and all the adrenal hormones for example ACTH, adrenocortical hormone all of them work in, with coordination with other hormones of your body. Now there are a pair of ureters that come out from kidney that carry basic secretions of kidney. The urinary bladder stores the urine or you can say the excretory product removed by the kidney in the form of urine which will contain all the unwanted substance from the body. So students in this part of the chapter what we did study was the structure of kidney and how the structure of kidney constitutes various parts. I hope you all are very clear with this concept. Thank you.